Um, You've pleased the tomato. I <laughs> have wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, on tunes, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. What type of horrific face did you just make? I never, I always see that tomorrow when I'm editing. What, what are these dudes up to something, man? I, I didn't, I didn't do anything this time around. It's, Pedro, you gotta you got pick up the slack, make dumb faces. Dude, um, I hey, did everyone. that plenty during the show. Okay? I'm Ben Stone. That, that's Jordan Swang, and that's a sentient tomato. Um, Mr. Tomato. No, it is tomato. Tomatoes. No, no, it's a singular tomato. <laughs> You can tell. <laughs> See, look at him. It, it's quite literally of course he, um, he, 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 he's 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 a very upstanding gentleman. That one. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hashtag job. Good jump, night. Right? Go, Visual go, go, go watch the pre-pre super shows, and like eight percent of that might make sense if you squint. Possibly. Patreons only, baby. Patreons uh, only. We're with you live, everyone at home. Um, Shot Realm Dynamic joining us on Twitch and Discord and IRC, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Uh, before we get going, uh, have you been up to anything new and exciting, Tomato? Not really. <laughs> well, uh, what are you saying? We need to catch up with them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but yeah, in so the um, like <laughs> the interest of catching up, uh, the um, no, this week has actually been very, very busy at work because I was the only person here in the Cambridge office. So yeah, <sighs> that 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 wasn't fun. So uh, we're we're no more that place. Would, 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 you, no. would you say that? Would you say that your office performance isn't cutting the mustard? Oh, maybe you should relish the time you spend alone in the office instead. Did, did anyone at the NHS pay you any condiments? Uh, no, none whatsoever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about you, Jim? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe you gotta squeeze them a little bit more. I, aside from coming up with like condiment puns, nothing has really gone on this week. So this I've has literally, been the highlight. Damn. This, this is this has been the highlight. I'm, I'm just like. Sit, I'm sitting smoking a cigarette at my desk, like trying to come up with like tomato puns at three o'clock in the morning. Just, just chain smoking. Yeah, that, that's been my week. Rock and roll, baby. A uh, couple of things. Uh, if, if you're in Discord, like at two o'clock in the morning, I, I got a notification like, oh, look, I got it. I finally got something to plug my monitor cable into. As Pedro clearly is everything that's 15 pin D sub as monitor. But- <laughs> I mean, not with that attitude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, uh, for an interfacing Linux, I've been trying to get a hold to of HDSP 9632 and uh, I got a halfway decent deal on one and I look forward to plugging that in and seeing if the damn thing works. It'll be interesting, interesting, interesting. If not, um, maybe Jackbox will explode, but mm-hmm. maybe not. I like the horse. Miss- Mayo be the uh, the hor- the horse says uh, something that one else. was a stretch. Yeah. That was that was you know what? It's the Steam Linux update of oh, the week. Put some hot and, sauce yeah. on it, baby. Look at this list. <laughs> some sriracha, plenty of tomatoes in that. Uh, the uh, there's most no tomatoes and sriracha at all. What's wrong with the uh, the ones they sell here that do? But uh, yeah, the uh, Steam DB has. Well, they have a lot of things. If you go to steamdb.info, they actually have many different ways that you can sort the uh, Steam library, including your own. If you sign in, it'll actually filter by the games that you own. And the most followed games uh, is a recent entry, and it, number one is DLC Simulator 2, oh. uh, with 7 million uh, and 79,000 votes. Ah, this which, pop-up uh, thing. <laughs> yes, if you put the mouse over it, the pop up. You get anywhere up. near it, Ben. It's like, ah. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Payday 2. Uh, I get that it is popular. What I don't get is why. We, we, so we, we were talking about this. Um, so when, back when we were playing uh, Payday 2 just for like gets and chickles on the Thursday stream, right. you could you could get items and like skins and shit for being a member or following their group. They have like a they have a query thing. So I know sometimes they release stuff out and people will follow Payday to get access to it. Um, my uh, fa- my favorite thing on here is the holiday sale community group. That's my favorite game of this year. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I thought I thought it got old after the second series. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Valve keeps churning them out. That's like the right. one game they are making. Um, yeah, that's what I was wondering about at Payday 2 when you answered that question. You know, that, that's the difference between 7 million and 2 million for PUBG, which I get that. GTA, I, I think we need to pour one out for Left Alive. Mm-hmm. Poor Left Alive is dead last. But, you know, even at dead last, less Left Alive, you're doing all right, buddy. You're doing all right. You still have um, 42,000 followers, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, which this looks like a bad Call of Duty with robots, which might be unintentionally hilarious. It's possible. Mm. That's all the interest I have in that, man. Um, mm. Killing Floor 2 is beating Rocket League. Good job, Epic. Um, yep. <laughs> you really, you really saved the, the day with that one. Representative of anything, to be fair. Well, the, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, two it's, is in first, <laughs> and and like what? And last place, like ten thousand follows. I real or like forty thousand follows. I really think the the actual stats are like they, they cut it off after a certain point. Like yeah. this is top 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 one thousand. Top one thousand. So we got a um, couple of steamy bits on top of that, including the client beat update and. LEDs would be blinking, yeah. Yeah, or if you got one of those Woody keyboards, you got Woody? the Woody support. Woody, yeah. That's, <laughs> Does it just have yep. Woot and Woot? Yeah, the <laughs> so, I, I, had to, I had to look it up because, like, I haven't said Woot since like 2006, right? Mm. Um, what? <laughs> woot Woot. Uh, but yeah, they um. One one of the big things with the Woody keyboards is being able to like remap everything. So I think the remap API is now supported via Steam input. Also, Hotas support. Um, if you got the uh, hands on throttle and stick, um, I think there was a new update as well. But, yes, there yeah, was. There, uh, the one originally in the notes was from January fifth. They released another one on the seventh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, apparently, remote play is now available in China bunch of other stuff, more LED stuff. I, I don't know. They're, they're really trying to get like Steam input in a really good sh- in a really good spot uh I, I tried plugging in like a thrustmaster t80 wheel into linux Diggity. did not work <laughs> um apparently there's a project that i need to send a usb pcap for but Did it, you it's, like it's legitimately good. have a thrustmaster wheel i don't my girlfriend's kid does. i was about to say on behalf of lgc <laughs> fucking for what uh, okay. it, well, th- and, th- and that was the thing too. I-, I asked her. I asked her why she bought it, and it's like, well, I looked at the price, and it's like normally two hundred dollars, and mm-hmm. it was sixty dollars. So oh, I was, okay, fair that enough. was where I was going, but it was going to be directed at you. I was like, was that like something you saw at like the kibbutz? You're like, what? Okay, fine. Well, no, well, no, because I-, I I told her when we went when she next time she went to like the drugstore or whatever, like check to see what electronics they have. Sometimes you get good shit on like Boxing Day. Mm-hmm. It's true. Comes back with a sinking fish. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, Hello, the uh, <laughs> the LED thing for the uh, dual sense. It's uh, I started noticing it because on the previous update when they actually enabled proper uh, LED functionality for the dual sense, a teeny tiny little white LED at the bottom here showed up, and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's and then it sucked you. Yeah. And then it sucked your soul out of your body. Is that is, is that where this is no, leading? It's, it's just I saw the other LEDs. They were changing as I changed them, but I could do nothing about that little white LED. Not that it was bothering me all that much, but I clicked all the buttons and it didn't change. And now it's like, oh, so if you have more than one of them, the second one gets a white LED to say, it's like, oh, this is player two. Oh, and th- there's actually an option uh, oh, it's, in it's, the... It, uh, it's like uh, the the backlight here on the DualShock yes. 4. <laughs> you can change uh, the but, color. Yeah, the that. backlight. You can. Yes, the yeah. backlight on this one is uh, around the sides of the touchpad here. But yeah, the uh, you can actually set if you like that LED on. You can. There's a tick box that you could just have to have that LED on if. You like it. Uh, the other thing that uh, I noticed was they talk about the Hotas and the uh, G15. And I'm like, what G15? Hotas. The uh, Logitech G15? This one? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know either. Uh, but so I, I know uh, uh, Star Wars Squadrons has gotten really popular lately. And that one, because it, it has uh, the flight sim mode, you can use the Hotas with it. And that's pretty sick. Well, all right, Ben. That's the only thing you get to play with, and you can have uh, fill your afternoon with sticks and giggles or whatever. Giggles, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Well, you could try it in VR too, I guess. Proton, yeah, dude. Um, so they've been doing a lot of work on Proton Experimental, and you know, 
Occasionally we get a change log. This is from two days ago. A couple of things in here, man. Uh, because, as Jordan alluded to, you can get your Microsoft Flight Stick on with Proton and AMD in VR, man. So if you get all those things, you can form that Triforce of okay, I guess. <laughs> um, what does that say in Pedro? Hey, you just put a layout that cloud for the Estados Unidos da América. I thought I thought you added that. I'm like, what? I'm 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 so confused. Why why is this why is this a thing? Because because it reminded me of Pedro. Uh, what Pedro said, hopefully, is something uh, resembling improvements for non-US keyboard layouts. Ah. That's exactly what I said. That's what you wrote there. Okay, listen, man. <laughs> Support for RT Kit has been added to. Like, okay, I'm familiar with RT Kit because I run it on Jack. Uh, basically, everything in here because it's running Jack for audio, and I want to set our Q priorities and move mm-hmm. stuff up to the front. And that that's kind of fascinating. I, I, just, I want to see what they're going to be doing with RT Kit. Um, but mm-hmm. if you have RT Kit, man, it makes me wonder like, where's RT Car? I mean, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where RT Car is, but uh, one of the things that I have noticed where, is that where, where, uh, where is RT Carl? You know, here, here I got to bring this up though, man. They, they they've updated VK three D Proton, fixing the Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven facial. How the fuck can you tell with that game? Because that yeah, I, I, I mean, at one, at one point, like the jaws open up to like swallow your soul, and I guess that doesn't happen anymore, or it happens more. One one one, th- one thing they did fix here that I'm I'm happy that they're putting some work into is controller hot plugging because that's a big pain point. Um, well, it I, doesn't work half the time. Well, yeah, exactly. I would like to be <laughs> I would like to be able to like swap out controllers and not have to restart the game. And this is like even on Windows, this has been a thing you've had to deal with. Uh, so I'm glad to see them actually trying to address this, especially yeah. Just in general. Well, I'm going to say definitely yeah. somebody, um, both of you, uh, along with me, you stream. This is a common thing. Like, okay, we got to get everything set up before we go live. Then you got everything put together. Then you realize your controller time's out because it went to bed. And so you're like, mm-hmm. oh, geez. Okay, well, <laughs> let's shut the game down and restart everything. So, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah hot plugging would be nice. Indeed. But, yeah, like the keyboards, if you have a non-US keyboard uh, layout set up, uh, and you try to put one of the special characters, like the accents or the uh, superscript upside down A, T. superscript O, uh, this upside down T, you can put it because you have to use the ASCII code to do it. So that one would still work, but the <laughs> uh, it was mostly setting up like the special characters. If you tried to set that in game, it would just go numlock. That's nowhere near the numlock. So, yeah, it, it would be nice to actually be able to bind those keys. Hmm. I don't know. Now I, now I want to make Pedro a custom keyboard, you know, where it normally just has, like, the fuck button, but it's got the upside down T on it. I, I, th- I, thought, I, I thought it was just a keyboard with all numlock and no number keys. <laughs> it's like Minesweeper. <laughs> Just like it. <laughs> yeah, what, what, one of the numlocks isn't lines. a numlock. No, no, no. It's one of the numlocks isn't a numlock, but it changes every time. Yeah. Oh, uh, the firmware oh. changes it. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we get like the OLED key displays where it just shifts randomly what you're trying to type. Oh no, it has, it has a proximity sex sensor, so every key you're about to press just turns into numlock. No, it's got a proximity sensor. You had it right the first time. Yes, a proximity yes. sensor. <laughs> uh, I want, I want that keyboard. What the shit? <laughs> It's a, it's a sad so, day. Why are we talking about Middle Earth Shadow Hordor? Well, we got some bad news, kids. Some supported systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux is from the fine, fine carbon-based entities at Feral. But when we scroll down, <gasps> there's been some changes, kids. Oh, no. Because, no more Linux uh, and no more Mac. No more Mac, no more Linux. And, you know, uh, this wasn't the only victim because uh, Mad Max scene, same deal. No more Linux. No, no more Warner no more Brothers. Mac. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what went down was, you know, Middle Earth, Shadow Mordor, and just for the Mac people, uh, Arkham City. They've been removed to sale due to licensing. They, it's just expired. And I'm going to, I'm guessing here, it worked out as WB didn't want to re-up that support contract, you know, because they paid fair old. They're like, here, you port the game. But more importantly, you did the tech support for these games, too, if there's any problem. That didn't get renewed. So, you know, everybody it's like, oh, okay. And Feral's like, well, we're not getting paid to support these anymore, understandably. Like, so, 
But if you do have it, you can, I mean, it's not going away from the repos, so you're not going to lose anything. So I'm, It's just not listed, so if right. you buy it, you don't, if you didn't have it before, you can't get it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steam has done this before where, like, they've delisted games, but, like, they still allow you to access them. I mean, it, it's it's sad. Um because, like, Fer- Feral was kind of, like, the big avenue for the AAA games that we would get on Linux. And we got, like, Life is Strange. We got Mad Max. We got all these things. And for a while, it was nice. Things were looking up for native Linux gaming. Uh, but mm-hmm. now but now it's going to be the smaller folks. We're going to talk about that a little bit more well, think, uh, in, you know, in the, the future. You know, the entire platform shifted under them. Because well, a lot of games that we see have native um, support because they're built with... Unity or to a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something cross platform. Yeah. On the developers end, uh, the friction's been removed to a certain extent. And then we had Proton. Proton yes. uh, pretty much wrecked Feral's Linux built business model. Now, mm-hmm. it'd be interesting to see what Feral does with the M1 processor because they've learned a lot and they could still have a thing there, but Steam's like, yeah, we don't support that. Yeah, the, well, they'll, they'll, they'll support it through uh, Rosetta too. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's yeah. kind. Of, yeah, so I think we, we were talking about this before we started the show. I think yeah, this is this is going to be the last hurrah we're going to hear from Feral. I think maybe we're going to get one or two Total War games to like round out that contract. They're still putting out DLC. I got an email about that the other day. But yeah, yeah, that seems yeah, to but, be it. But, but I think that that's it. It's it's the end of an era. It is. And I still remember we were talking the pre-pre super shows and go watch that or listen to it was uh, when the last Tomb Raider well, it took about almost a year after mm-hmm. release of the last Tomb Raider game before we get it on Linux. And this, I was just waiting. I wasn't going to buy it. And I was waiting for Feral to release it. And I'm like, okay, now I'll buy it. But Proton, it just came out. And I was still in the, oh, let's just, you know, just see if the game runs. That was all I was mm-hmm. interested in. And um, I saw that, that Tomb Raider game that we were patiently waiting on. Had a demo for Windows. I'm like, hey, this is a good thing. And I launched it in 1080p. It was almost hitting 60. And this is when Proton was a very primitive kit. I'm like, oh, boy, that does not bode well for the mm-hmm. yeah. like, new <laughs> delay with release cycles. So and, and pour one out for your feral homies, man. Yeah. yeah now, Mad now, Max now. was actually, it, it's got zero replayability, but as far as like sandboxy AAA games go, it was no, really nice. I really enjoyed the, that game. So. And, the, and, the, and there's, there's a lot to do in there too. Yeah. It's, it's said now, now AAA Linux support is we gave Valve a pre-release copy to see if they can get it running on wine. That's it. Yeah. So there's that, but don't worry about feral. They're going to be all right because they've, you know, years ago, like two years back, they started shifting to Switch and Android, and, you know, so Mo- they, mobile iOS. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They still have that going for it. Who wants to? Oh, Pedro. Pedro, explain to me. I don't know. What the? How do you pronounce it and what is it? This is Gestaltor. <laughs> Gestaltor. I'm, I'm glad you included the shh. <laughs> it's the Gestalt GLTF. And it is 100% uh, GLTF uh, editing, whatever the that means i had a look at whatever the hell uh, gltf was and it's um yeah it's a transformation uh, graphics layer based uh loosely on OpenGL, and it is developed by the chronos group mm. so open standard there we go and yeah basically they say you can prepare 3d models into high performance real-time assets and uh so if blender was the thing that you use to create the model this is wait, the thing wait, that wait, lets wait, you turn wait, that wait, model wait, wait. What, what, what's this pedro why does it say one month why is it so, it's auto renewed every one month <laughs> or, or or you could buy the 12 month one for 180 bucks us i don't, I don't yeah, know yeah you got like, a month off i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure blender can do this as well you can create the assets and animate them because gltf is just the the format for like scenes and models right yes. um basically this uh if blender lets you create the model this oh, turns uh, it into a full-on game asset with no oh, all okay. the integration that you need <laughs> i okay so ac- according to according to wikipedia I, I took two seconds to do this so blender can <laughs> export to gltf um, mm-hmm. but to actually directly edit the files, this is when you need just Altor. Okay. That's, that's it. You, okay. it, it, you can export to it, <laughs> uh, but you can't directly edit in Blender. That's, I guess the, the, dif- the chief difference here. I was, uh, the big takeaway of, <laughs> this is about my pay grade. If somebody's like very versed in this, uh, send us an email, <laughs> user contact form. But, uh, 
the thing that kind of surprised me, I didn't realize that Steam had support for recurring subscriptions. I guess they do. I don't, I don't think it would be like super trivial for them to implement either. I didn't know um, it was there, I guess. Is it? What else is ever? I've, this is the first time I've ever M- seen like M- it. MMO subscriptions, maybe, if they wanted to do that through Steam. Is that a thing, though? I don't think uh, it is. It, they have recur- they've had recurring payments for a while. Uh, okay. The latest one was the origin yep. thing for EA that you can subscribe oh, right, through right. Steam and it gets renewed every month. Okay. Still <laughs> okay. tried that out. No. Me neither. <laughs> I bought the one game that I wanted and I realized, oh yeah, EA really fucked that game up, so I'm good. Well, <laughs> since we don't know what that is, uh, let's talk about Starbases. Star- I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Space Base Startopia. I mean, watch it, watching the trailers, I'm not 100% sure what it is either. Uh, it builds itself as Suck sort it. of an, an economic... Like, yeah, um, You're space- getting eaten by a bit. Oh. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> yeah, um, you please the tomato. I <laughs> have wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So for for this asking price, it's asking for like they want they want fifty they want sixty three dollars Canadian for the extended edition, fifty one Canadian Look at for the for robot. The, I don't trust that. It, it, it is, and it's like it's like a management sim city builder in space. You have like your little Babylon Five space station, and you got to make the inhabitants happy. I guess um, I don't know. The again, the trailer here doesn't really give much in the way of gameplay, but according to the system requirements, it requires a 64 bit CPU and a dream. So, <laughs> create, create life, destroy life, even real life. Is this spore in space or some shit? Not even, it's like, no, it's it like, is it's, 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 a it's RTS sim, in space. It's sim shitty, is what it is. Okay. It's expensive as fuck, too, man. Like, the city builder uh, resource management type of situation. Well, that, that okay. Well, well, uh, uh, resource management. All right, Pedro, Pedro Mateus, I, I really want to see them take advantage of the online PvP with city resource management. Does one city kick the other's ass? It... Well, so uh, there I'm, are I'm, uh, some kind of RTS skirmishes, as they describe it. Yeah, there, there's so like I'm a blood sport that's or something. Or, 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 or something. Or something. I don't so know. Go on at it. Two space stations. <laughs> that's too sexy. Too hot for Twitch. Hey, man. Way too hot for um, Twitch. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, uh, when is this plan to come out? Uh, spring 2021. Uh, 21. So. Yeah, you can, you can get it the seems pre-purchase. Like it's really fleshed out for something that is... It, it, for that asking price, it, it better have, The trailers be. look very nice. Yeah. Uh, like Jordan mentioned, that there's no gameplay whatsoever, but they look nice. There, okay. there, there, is, there is some gameplay, <laughs> but not enough to, like... Oh. No wonder we were getting yes. so many words in. Yeah, <laughs> ah, you, you, you muted me. Okay, For a that makes there, yeah. That that makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why, uh, why, uh, well, let us know about the conversation we weren't having. I know. I'm, I don't know. I just figured you ignore me because that's that's what happens, anyways. No, I was, I was gonna say like there's some blood sport thing they implemented. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Like I, again, the um, tra- trailers don't really give away that much. There's some gameplay in there, but not enough to actually tell what the fuck what's, you're doing. What's, what, what's the most non-representative trailer you've ever seen for a game? Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd have to think on that. Mm. So, that send I us would... some hate mail. Send us, send us some hate mail. There you tell go. us your, tell us your, uh, your favorite trailer that wasn't representative of all of the product. But until then, coming up next, we can shoot right laser beams out of our NVIDIA RTX cards if you can get your hands on them. <laughs> the ones that we don't <laughs> have. Yeah, or you, or you could even run KDE on them. That, that's the thing. That particular break took us took a, a very strange turn. That's and how, if that's you'd like roll, to see, Pedro. reject <laughs> humanity, return to monkey. If you'd like to see exactly where that went, feel free to catch the uh, full-on, uncut, uh, unedited version on YouTube at some point. But if you're just listening to the show on your podcatcher, thank you. You are. Uh, well, you are the 95%. Hey, Pedro, if you don't want to wait, I know of a fantastic way to watch that video early or even have it delivered to you in podcast format the next day. Trapper Keepers? Fuck all with you and Trapper Keepers. All the time. I, don't want, I don't want to wait for my Trapper Keeper to be over. Man, check out, our, check out patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. That's what Ben is talking That's about. That's how you, you can... unfuck Trapper Keepers. Yeah. Yes. I, thought, I, thought, I thought you just merged them with Eric Cartman. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, 
check out our Patreon. Uh, it's the best way to support us. You get by subbing to it, you get access to a bunch of stuff. You can join our Discord channel. We have the pre pre super shows, which is an extra hour of Dude, next gaming content. Live. An extra hour, and you get access to the audio. And if you are a executive producer or above, you get your own custom live YouTube video yeah. stream too. You can sit yeah. back and like watch our nonsense. nonsense. And this I, I, this week, no exception, we straight up just. We went on a trip, man. We started with Discovery, hit the Doctor Who, then then we were just yeah. talking about the problems in the Trikiverse. I mean, it's it's mm-hmm. very yeah. critic, integral stuff that helps us plan but, for each show that, every week. That's the thing, though. I think this concludes the like back half of the year pre pre super shows and just talking about TV and movies because now there's nothing left. So <laughs> yeah, so become a Patreon. A <laughs> become a Patreon. Show up next week and see what the hell we talk about. Uh, you can also get access to the show notes. Mm-hmm. Each and every week, man, we're in there yep, hammering yep. away at each other. And uh, did we, we had some notes this week, didn't, didn't somebody? Yeah, we, we, yeah. You we, can we did. Uh, show. Um, you can do that, too. You can do that you, in Discord could, into it, the... Um, I'll offer corrections as well in the show. Yeah, yeah. show suggestion room. Uh, if you want, you can even buy your way on the show. Uh, we also got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy some t-shirts, buy some coffee cups, buy some stickers, and put them over your t-shirts and nipples. Get and Frank on your nipples. Put Frank all over your titties. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we got we got some masks, we got some hoodies. Any if if you want to cover yourself in LGC regalia, this is the way to do it. Confuse your friends and family, man. Horrify your family. <laughs> Ask them Conf- why? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think it's always a good strat if you if you were early back in the day to get like the uh, one chair shirt, man. Like, I you've been rated. Indeed. <laughs> we got we got Amazon wishlist. Ven has one. If you buy him stuff off that, you get your name on the blinky board. If you look buy, at that. look at that. You so, can try to read it. Actually, whoever's next will be legible. Legible. Yeah. You know yes. what? Hang on, hang on. Let's see if I can remedy that. Let's uh... just tilt, tilt the monitor down a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't. To... I can't get it far enough down. Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn um, it! Damn you'll show damn up it. each and every week and in all the other produced videos. But those people, you're awesome, going above and beyond, helping us uh, get stuff for the studio. That's pretty wild. Yeah. If you want to buy some stuff off of myself or Pedro's list, wish lists, uh, links to that is on the website, and we'll read whatever message that Add you send us. Add another mask to your collection. Collection. I, might, I, I mean, like, I might Extra as well. Gift mask. I, I like that you beautiful psychopaths have picked up enough, um, like, weird ass masks for Jordan to, like, I got it. I, you, I, you, I love you have, have a collection now. Dude, I'm saying you have to have, like, a canned explanation for when the person's like, um, you're like, okay, here we are. Well, no, no. What, what, what I want to do in the new, because I'm, I'm looking for a new place. What I want to do is I want to get like some like taxidermy mounts and like put some mannequin heads on there and put like the, the heads on there and have them behind me. Oh, I wonder if you, oh, geez. Okay. Speaking of Google searches, you don't want to do like human heads mounted. Right. right or, or like get a little raspy with some like glowing LEDs. <laughs> mannequins. That I can... I, it's like, what's the loophole? Like mannequin heads. There we go. Man- oh, Extremely yeah. realistic mannequins. Yes. Pedro, yeah. What do you have on your wish zone? I haven't creeped on that in a minute. Uh, I think I added a couple of things, but it's mostly me just waiting for payday. So <laughs> those may disappear you, after you, the fact. You have to be careful with that. I, 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 I'm going to give Aldius credit. Aldius is learning. He's like, hey, um, are you are you just using that as a reminder? And I'm like, yeah, that's a reminder. I'm getting that. Don't worry about it. Uh, what does Pedro have? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, a desperate upgrade. Both of you need uh, new microphones, cables. What is this? Wireless USB keto? remote. Go, get out yes. of here, Pedro. USB, USB. tester? What? Yes, oh, in the ta- USB tester, which, again, I'm going to get one of those USB remotes and one of the uh, in the uh, USB tester as and, soon NVMe as I get with paid. Heat baby. Yeah, that's how Pedro NVMe rolls, man. His, his rounds have uh, oh, no, active cooling. S- s- scroll up a little bit. There, there was that Western <laughs> Digital one that has, like, the crazy fucking heat pipe or Sabrent. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> this fucko. <laughs> I, I don't care about the heatsink. I just care about the uh, one terabyte and the fact that it's NVMe Gen Four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, th- there. Uh, we we got we got to thank Basil for Basil. subscribing. And we uh, there is a note. Someone has left me. If you subscribe to our Twitch, you do get access to our Discord. Yes. So if you want to do that, you can. You can do it. I, I'm waiting for somebody to. I, a couple of people have done it. They've linked it because you know when you sub on yeah. Twitch, you can do the link thing with your Discord. Because I do that too. No one, I think like maybe twice people have um, like said something through that. We got a lot of people that like to watch. I'm like, oh, what you guys up to? And that that's effectively our Slack. That's where we talk, man. 
Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to find out weird and interesting things of like, hey, two o'clock in the morning, I got the card off eBay. I'm happy. And it was like, yeah, whatever. Shut up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let, let, let's get into it. So can we put this vi- on our wish list? Because we can't get in. I mean, I mean, I just want to shoot some rays out of it. Some heat well, vision. you can because it's the drivers. You could just go to uh, the NVIDIA.com website. You pick the drivers thing and you select uh, what, which card you have. What if they're just looking at the show notes? <laughs> Is there some way they can get magically transported from the show notes to the driver? Uh, they can. They can just click on it. That, that oh. there will be a link in the show notes. Uh, oh my yeah, god! This is version four sixty dot thirty two dot oh three, and it was released uh, on the seventh, so two days ago for, at the time of recording. And yeah, it adds support for the RTX A six thousand, and it has a significant change log. But the important thing, I think, yes, uh, support we- for the A six thousand pager, the single most important thing in this driver announcement. <laughs> That's, that's really. about how much money you're going to be paying for the card anyway, it's about 6,000 bucks. Yeah, they introduced a bunch of uh, Vulcan uh, you're extensions. You're exaggerating, about- it's a mere 5999.99. Oh, so, my, 6, my, 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 okay, I, I sit corrected. Hang on, we, we gotta play the game under and over of Newegg having it in stock. Uh, I'm gonna say um, over. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say they have it in stock. In stock? I'm gonna go not in stock. Pedro, tiebreaker. Uh, no, no, not in stock. Not in stock. <laughs> Survey says. Ad blocks. Eat it. It's there. Two per it's customer, there, yeah. baby. Two. Oh, wow. it's, oh. it's, it's, Dude, Quad- okay. Quadro. That, uh, uh, to be fair, oh. that's the Quadro 8000, not the A6000, but that, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's just full of lies, It's basically man. the same card, yes, Can but not the one? same card. <laughs> there we From go. Next Warehouse. A6000. And yeah. stuck. Live inventory update. Please wait. 5500. Uh, please wait. Ah. Oh, it is. Oh, Three to four weeks or less. Right. right there, but, but, okay. That new, actually but gave us that, that gave us a bare, very good piece of information. That tells mm. you that it's only shipped directly from the manufacturer. So they're just the reseller. Well, right. Yeah. Um, of logistics. course. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here, uh, like the 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 idle on suspend stuff from like previous beta drivers. This is just the main driver. So uh, if you've been living in beta land, like a lot of us have, uh, you've been playing around with this stuff already. Although there's not much that is actually using those BK Kronos ray tracing extensions Mm-mm. under Linux. Not much yeah, at all. And the kernel, so, uh, kernel 510 support uh, should work with this one. They don't mention it in the changelog because NVIDIA does that. They actually do have a proper changelog in the driver package itself that you have to look because what they put on the website is not the complete changelog. Thank you for letting me know about that uh, all the way back then, Aaron. That was very much appreciated. <laughs> I will give up our theory double shout out. He's the one who posted this in our show notes. Yeah. Now, um, the one thing I noticed, I went ahead and you know just compiled the run file and do 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 the module everything was fine right up until right up until i went to launch sonic all-stars racing the game we played last night at uh, last night last week in the after shows and I'm not having it man like I, it, I, I went down the proton does, tree it's like <laughs> fuck off fuck off fuck off hey i got nope just kidding fuck off and i have a theory okay. i have a theory the sega at the beginning of the game takes up way too much video memory it's scary. and the game and the game can't run in, in all it fair- takes more than six gigs in all fairness yes sega. My, my, my 2060s only got six gigs and that was the uh <laughs> it, it did worry me to the point of where i went and tested all the other games i had locally installed no nope, it's just this one with proton so just sonic yeah just Damn. again yeah the, uh, i the, mentioned the, the, the pre pre show, but <laughs> works here <laughs> yeah. right so so uh here's here's the other thing about nvidia is that they really hate open source and they want other projects that are open source to just die right yep 100 percent. it'll never happen oh wait um actually wait, wait, man. <laughs> support for hardware accelerated rendering with a proprietary nvidia driver yeah two patches are intended to accompany the upcoming support for proprietary nvidia drivers for hardware accelerated gl and vulcan with X Whalen, to which I wrote on Twitter, I'm snowball fight at my place, fuckos. Um, cause in <laughs> fact has hell frozen over, man. But 
a little bit of joy with that. And of course, I know you're already lining up but like, well, they shouldn't have waited this long. It's horrible. NVIDIA is still the devil. I'm like, okay, fine. They're a soulless corporation. So I don't care. You know, um, this, unfortunately, I believe is going to shine light on something a lot of people might be out of your sight is you, you're going to find out that, you know, NVIDIA being the thing holding back Waylon, damn myth. Um, I <laughs> just... Just going to be honest yeah. with you. Don't get your hopes up like, oh, this is okay. Six months from now, everything going to be great. It won't. And again, I, I put the EGL streams thing. I blame that entirely on Canonical because they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to we're going to do mirror. And so if he is like, OK, well, now we need to support two things. So we might as well just use the base primitive thing implemented in the, the, the protocol standard. And then, you know mirror didn't happen life moves on people move on to better tech and nvidia is like well we finished our thing why do we need to update it you guys have apparently have not got your shit together now that the course has been determined it seems like nvidia is willing to play ball mm -hmm. uh but there is some work to be done and they're saying it does depend on a new driver being updated but you know whatever it, it, it's nice it's nice to see uh and hopefully hopefully we'll start seeing some better some some of the egregious performance delta between x wayland <laughs> and wayland close as a result of this maybe mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that would be very bad. nice and it, w what uh, what else would be nice is the fact that uh, if you actually try to use wayland uh, the moment you try to use anything that gives you the same kind of functionality that say x set uh does for x there isn't there just isn't you know everything that you could set with x set you can't in wayland mm. and uh most of that functionality is still very much missing because i think it's by design because in an effort to reduce the code base uh to something that's actually manageable and that they can actually develop properly on because let's face it x has been around for a long long time and that's impressive also, also uh... in how big it's gotten but a mess? It's also <laughs> it's also a security thing too because like Wayland implements stuff a lot differently oh, than X yes. does. Yeah, well, like, one of the things you're going to slam your head against is what we're doing right now. This is why Pipewire is so important mm -hmm. because being able to capture audio, video, streaming, simple things like sharing your desktop. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah. like, got to admit, man, I've personally not been following Wayland because you know I'm a Nvidia shell and I'm an Nvidia whore and but. <laughs> really, it boils down to it just was never supported, you know, with the um, new wave, Nuvo drivers. Now, now I got to pay some attention to it. I'm like, ooh, can I play with this now? Yep. Not, not yet, but well, soon. And you'll have to use uh, uh, GNOME mm. or KD. Or <laughs> So I can. I, I mean, I, I, XFCE Wayland support is coming in the year four thousand ninety-seven. Okay, I, I was about to say that's long enough away for it to be a clear joke, which I, on behalf of the XFCE development team, approve of. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Say, how dare you be correct about our development roadmap? <laughs> All I want to say is that this is a personal message to my good friend um, Brian C. Gordon. Iculus.org. You got to change that fav icon so I don't ask myself, why the hell do I have a Yahoo tab open? Right? <laughs> oh my God. Are you, that, that, that it's is, the that old, is old icon too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so real. I th and I th it's not even the Yahoo icon. It just kind of looks like it. It's, it's, it's red and has that vig. Yeah. So there's got to yeah. be a story behind that. Seriously, I think it's an I and an exclamation mark, but yeah, yeah this it's, it's, uh, doesn't it's come the, from Iculus. Yeah, it's the, it doesn't come from Iculus himself. It comes from flibbity -bidi 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 uh, Mr. Ethan He's Lee, scat, who man. says. Uh, he shares the message of like future games and Mac support, namely he's dropping Mac support altogether, and uh, he does share not, the story. Not quite. Well, yes, uh, he does say that in the event that the developer um, really N twists no. uh, his arm. Not, not I, even. I'm letting you talk. Did, Just go ahead and did, finish did, your sentence, Pedro. Okay. Right. Uh, so uh, he does say that in the, the event that a developer really twists his arm uh, and he says, like, you get all the, royal, uh, all the royalties level of twisting, he'll think about it. But otherwise, he's just going to defer to uh, anyone who's become a Apple expert for their new M1 architecture because, well, he hasn't really kept up with it and he doesn't really want to do anything about it. Uh He's going to start focusing on Linux, and I really do 
still very much hope that uh, a lot of game developers who don't really want to do the Linux version don't just leave it up to Valve and Proton and actually go to Flamin and like, yo, can you give me a Linux of this, please? It would, that, it would, be, would, be, it would be nice. nice. But so he's saying he's saying he's not dropping Mac support entirely. Uh, he's not going to be supporting Catalina. He's not going to be supporting um, Big Sur, which is the new one that has the M1 support. Um, so yes, whatever, the current versions. Yeah. What, yeah. What, whatever he can run on his old uh, Mojave MacBook is what's going to get support uh, because he, he says there you, you you bought the Mac version. I'm not going to dick you over and say you don't get support. Yeah, he anymore. does point that. He's like, I'm not going to fuck you on this, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it. So if you have an existing Mac game that uh, Flibit has supported, you will continue to get support for it. But anything new uh, will be. Pr- he's primarily focusing on console and using that to sort of push people over to Linux. And it makes sense. Like, good. Good luck getting developer support if you're if you're a Mac developer. Like, have you tried updating your Xcode? No. Well, too fucking bad. We gotta think in like the nine years. <laughs> figure out been, some <laughs> shitty workarounds. We've been doing it damn near a decade. We've been doing this show. We went from genuinely being moderately envious of like the gaming situation on Mac to having at least for me and my brothers and sisters um, with your Mac that you clearly are stuck with because you're an intelligent human being and you didn't buy one. Um, now we feel bad for you. There, there's the like, oh, you guys are very limited as to what you can play. And Apple's like, oh, you think that shit's limited? Check this out. Boom. <laughs> like in one. Well, it's it's not even that by like, um, like, uh, Ethan brings it up in the blog post where you, you can't even like implement shit properly on metal because Mm -hmm. there are driver bugs. Um, there, there is stuff that is not being addressed unless you are a large company like Activision who's saying, yo, I'm going to pay you guys to like pay you money. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You're, you're, you're not going to be getting that support. And you know, he, he brings up like Vulcan is from an architect from like a code perspective really really bad but at the very least you can look at the driver that's implementing it things get fixed there's a back and forth and you ha- you have access to the whole stack you have access to the source right. code of it that's that's the most important thing as, for as a developer that's what he's saying and he's right he's not the first i mean you know steam said months and months ago and like nah and that was just a 64 bit man mm-hmm. yeah so okay let's talk and about reverse engineering with linux yeah this one this one's kind of cool it's always fun reading these blog posts this one's not 100 percent linux related but you know he did use it to hey actually, man uh, it, it knew linux's friends or roommate and they were neighbors I, I i mean he used linux to actually do this but this this so this requires a little bit of backstory because i don't know what the fuck this was about uh so <laughs> back in 2008 ea released a game called the saboteur and it was kind of like an open world gta thing that took place in nazi occupied france people seemed to like it the problem was that right after release the pub- the developer went under uh and no more support uh, it had a lot of problems with amd cards um and so what happened is this guy got his hands on a copy of Man, a you know version. Except when gidra broke out you're like ah uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh so he uh he found a dev copy of the xbox version and he was trying to say like okay can i use like lua and c to extract this um make changes to the game and like be able to mod the game and fix problems um so appara- apparently the game itself is pretty busted. Uh, the Xbox version is like a little screwy. Needless to say, hilarity ensues. You can read the entire article. It's actually Dude, in two parts. I'm just going to say llama drama takes second place. Right. Lua drama. <laughs> yeah. A- a- apparently there's there's a problem when you're trying to decompile Lua and figure out what <laughs> shit is actually happening in the is engine. Is that problem questioning your life choices? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But... I, I, I don't know. This this is what you do when you take it upon yourself to try and reverse engineer Windows games, right? This is the this is the shit that happens. Dude, this, this falls squarely into the category that I I've, I've definitely been in. Is like uh like personal decision, like personal challenges that just get way the fuck out of hand. Right. Like, it, I'm gonna this, finish it, this. It escalated to a degree <laughs> yes. that you were not initially prepared for, but god damn it. It's, it's a challenge. And he right? does say that in the uh, conclusion. It's like, oh yeah, no, uh, I don't like having to have a PPC 64 VM <laughs> to cross compile Lua to generate the stupid bytecode. I, I like so how he says can that. Like there's please. some dude that's like, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> it's awesome. But yeah, no, he does. He does put out sort of like, 
I don't know if there's any cross compiler or converter that can do the same. So if you do, if you have any idea about this, get in touch mm-hmm. because he needs some help. <laughs> <laughs> He, I, th- I think he needs some professional help, not just like help with the project. <laughs> oh man, you know what? We'll probably need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero to the end of the night. Yeah. Um. So you might think, man, I got a lot of free games from the Epic Game Store yeah. because that's 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 what I have do, it for. Is do, do free you games. Still do that after the novelty wore off. Like whatever. I don't have time. Not, I, I, not really. I, I don't have time to just go to the store and click <laughs> give me. Well, if, if it's a game that I'm really like GTA five, I'm like, okay, that normally retails for like 50 bucks. Something like that. Uh, but, but anyways, um, so there's not a lot of options for playing your Epic games from your Epic game store on Linux. Uh, there's a command line for, um, there's a command line client called a legendary, and this is implementing a uh, GUI on top of that. It's called a uh, heroic. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty slick library for, you know, installing and managing Epic games. You can, uh, it's working on trying to integrate a little bit with Lutris so you can use the Lutris wine versions. Um, and yeah, just, just be a nicer front end for people who want to play wine games from the Epic game store. Cause they are, they are giving a shit ton of free ones, right? Like if you are a budget constrained yeah, gamer. One a week. Yeah. yeah. I, I know are, a lot of people who just have that installed to get their free game every week. Exactly. <laughs> So, so yeah, um, I, I can see why people would want something like that. And, you know, uh, if you don't want to use the command line, there's a nice little uh, GUI thing for it now. And I guess that's, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, I was looking through it, and I thought it was kind of neat, man, because, um, you know, the design iterations are based on some UI UX research done by, who do you want to go with that, Billion? B- B- Billion Morera. Morera. And <laughs> I, went, I went to his web zone, just like looked through it. This guy went deep, man, like the right way to go about setting something up, taking polls and just like rocking through like what people like, what people don't like, where should I play shit, you know, so it's not, you know, programmer UI, mm-hmm. which, which is always nice to see. I mean, just looking at some of the screenshots, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, that looks very well done. It's, it's like- slightly better than Steam. Um, but if you're wondering <laughs> if you want to play around with it, this comes currently is in Debian, RPM, Pac-Man. And app images, so there's no excuse not to uh, yeah, give it yeah. give a curiosity nibble with that app image. Uh, one one thing that you say is cloud saves are a little buggy, so be careful. To which that. to which I will retort, I didn't expect them to work in the first place, Jordan. Fair, fair. <laughs> I didn't even know they had they had that for Epic, but what have you? Uh, I'm surprised, you know, given that they have pulled the uh, Lutris installed Wine versions, that it didn't immediately get Lutris to Lutris. Dropping the ball there, Strider. Yep, that would have been a loop exception. It's not allowed. 2021, man. <laughs> we don't need a repeat of 2020. <laughs> just saying, this is dropping the ball a little bit on mm-hmm. lutricing other projects into your own. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you might have noticed earlier uh, last week, or yeah, earlier last week, or maybe this week, depending on when you're watching this, it can be any time. Hop in my TARDIS, baby. Uh, Linus, this guy back here on the wall, who's telling everyone that NVIDIA is number one, had something to say about ECC, well, nay, the lack of ECC memory availability. Yeah, so apparently someone had put together a new, Linus Sebastian had put together a uh, a spec for Linus Torvalds to put together a new system. Um, and Linus is like, yo, man, I want some ECC on here. Uh, and people are like, oh my god, Linus is using ECC, people don't need, need to use ECC, blah, blah, blah. And Linus has, has a retort to this notion. He says, well, that's, that's stupid. Everyone should want ECC because it you know, corrects errors in your memory. Um, in, Intel has done a very good job of marketing ECC as a professional feature that only servers need, but he brings up a good point. Like, yeah, if you want high frequency, like very fast RAM, like gamers use, you want to be able to know like Gamer RAM. when, yeah, when, when you start getting memory errors. Um, so it's, it's, you, you can, you can read through the entire thing yourself. It's basically an argument for why there should be more consumer ECC. And he's right. I mean, I don't think I'd necessarily pay more for ECC, but I'd certainly like an option to. And it, it goes to show you, like, Intel has been the de facto standard for so long that they are they have their weird, weird little dick swing happening where, like, they had determined that ECC is a professional-grade feature, and so no one ever put it to, for a consumer-grade model. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you trying to imply that <laughs> professional-grade might be code word for you got to pay extra for it? 
No, I we would want to charge you more I, money I, for I, that. I, I yes. thought you would dare tarnish the name of Intel, <laughs> no, which oh no, never. They are about reproach, mind you. The, the, those seventeen hundred dollar men. processor. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, lads. Here's the thing, man. In all fairness, like I probably should have uh, ECC RAM in Threadbooper, the box that we're sending everything out on right now. Uh, but it, it. I guess the marketing worked on me because it never crossed my mind to even go looking for it. <laughs> he said, it didn't. I was like, oh, okay, let's just use that vengeance stuff I use in the other Ryzen system. And that got me to thinking, man. I was like, well, uh, when was the last time I even looked for ECC RAM? I was like, you're talking about Sun. I'm like, yeah, I am. That's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> what does ECC RAM go for these days? Popped over to the Amazon. Another lovely soulless corporation, and it's not bad, man. So I can get a, a 2400, 32 gig kit. So 178, but sneaky cash is Amazon's choice for a 32 gig. It's 121. That's DDR4 266. So this is not outrageous, but gentlemen, it's not the not the fastest RAM gentlemen, either. But like, no, it isn't. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out, because I believe I know. What's really holding back ECC adoption? And it's not scarcity. No, it's not. What's really holding it back is you'll notice all of that memory RAM is lacking blinky ass RGB and atrocious heat sinks. It's, they're naked. They're indecent. <laughs> yes, they're exposed. All those memory modules are exposed. I, I couldn't possibly dims. run something. The only way you're going to sell that to a gamer is by saying, hey, it's retro. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I mean, like, Linus does kind of touch on that point, but yeah, like, having blinky shit on there would probably sell ECC, and if they it put it would. on some, and if they put it on some faster memory, I guarantee that there are people who are like willing to dump five, six grand into their gaming PC would be like, oh yeah, ECC, tech mm -hmm. it off, why not? Yeah. Well, and I'd love me some high speed ECC memory, but it looks like I'm going to be stuck on this X570 platform for a while. So, if the, assuming the planet you. doesn't See, there you know, you go. In, go in, up in flames over See, the past, this is why you can't uh, talk bad about five Intel. Years. <laughs> Intel is nice enough to change the socket every generation. So, you so have, you have to use upgrade. Yeah. AMD's being you have mean, to buy that new motherboard. AMD but is yeah. anti-consumer with like multi-generational sockets. By the time, you know, by the time that uh, this X570 motherboard has run its course, I hope that I can buy some 5000 MTS ECC RAM at a reasonable price for mainstream platforms. And that Probably would be not. amazing. Probably not, but mm. that would be amazing. <laughs> well, good news, everyone. A new version of OBS. Um, yeah, that's 100% out. And it, it unfucks some of the things that were previously fucked in OBS 26.1. Mainly, uh, <laughs> they completely broke deck link and they fixed that. Thank you, DDR Box, man. And most importantly, for anyone like me, they finally, finally, after two plus years that I've been tracking it. They fixed the issue with Jack just completely fucking up, not recording anything and never notifying the user, which has led to countless, countless lost recordings for the end user. And uh, they've also fixed the syncing issues. I want to thank Mark N for doing <laughs> that. He's also the person responsible for the uh, Apple M1 Linux distribution we'll be talking about Wednesday. So it was fascinating um, to see that. And I, I, I've been fighting, Asahi. I've been fighting this man, this jack bug, because what it does, I mean, you see your meters and everything was working just fine. You go, you check your recording with your audio tracks, nothing's there and it doesn't tell you anything. And like people have just lost shit. We don't lose shit because of, you know, it's over here on Jackbox, and it's like able to pull it through. And, you know, for the past two years, I've been recommending people just use Pulse Audio like Jack Bridge. Do not use Jack with OBS. It's safe to go in those waters once again. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, you might have noticed that they've completely skull fucked the UI if you have fractional <laughs> scaling enabled, which is hilariously bad. I'll put a thing in the show notes to where you, you can do an export variable to like change it to 1.1, 1.2. That'll get you sorted. And, um, also, a bug that I noticed that the virtual cam button is no longer a thing. Even if you have V4L2 uh, loopback module installed, it's not detected correctly, so it's not there. I'm sure it's just another bug, but I don't feel like defending that fucking thesis, and so I'm not following the bug report on that one. <laughs> Bear. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, uh, real big applause to Marikan who walked in, fixed the issue, called the developers out, and when the developers came back, oh, but you hurt my Fifi's, he called them out again. Huh? <laughs> well, yeah, he for said, all the well, BS. You, tr you treated everyone like an asshole, so I don't feel the need to be diplomatic to you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yep. Very good to have that <laughs> fixed. But let's stay on the OBS train because something that you might notice that we're doing right now on Twitch is there's a CC button and that doesn't stand for clam cookies. <laughs> it should. I want some. I was going to go for chocolate cookies. chips, but okay. Clam cookies. <laughs> Cho chocolate chunks. Quit, quit being so, uh, such a tomato-like <laughs> response. Um, this is what we throw it in here, man. So we do have closed captioning. It is available. We do it live, and we do it through a plugin that uh, takes advantage of the Google uh, Voice API. And it sends it out, and I mean, it does it very quick, man. It's like maybe a second, maybe mm -hmm. two behind. And it works as good as Google's speech recognition does which means it's about 90 95 percent accurate but if you're playing along and you're following along doing that stuff you can definitely look at it and go okay i understand use some context clues you know if you're like hey man why is that guy a tomato it'll probably you'll be able to feel like okay what's going on man tomato mateus so I no, it's, it's, it's this. just tomato <laughs> tomatoes go check it Plural. out god damn it <laughs> On our Patreon page, uh, you don't have to be a patron, but it's there. It's posted there for now. If you want to do real-time closed captioning for Twitch and OBS, it's pretty easy. You need 26 or higher before that, unless you're compiling from source. You need to uh, throw a CMake flag in there. And Pedro, it it's a three-minute video, right? It, it's, yep. It's, it's in. short. It's pretty accurate. And yeah, it, it is that easy. You download yeah. the thing, you move it to the plugins folder, and you tick the box to enable cc's that's it yeah it, it, it works pretty much out of the box no issues and there's really no reason not to be using it because some people could be hard of hearing or it could simply be like i can't have the volume on because of the situation but i still want to follow what's going on so mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. that's going to be a thing in all of our streams from now on is there anything else oh yes i i was very happy because i posted i saw twitter like day before yesterday and i saw somebody uh retweeted it, it was a lady uh, who was because you can also get SRT files for like local recordings. You know, it, you don't have to be mm -hmm. streaming, but if you're doing something like instructions or something like that, she was, she said it was a game changer for her because she was unaware that this ability existed. She had since been recording something, sending it to YouTube, getting the files, then all the way right, around. Right. It'll, it right. also gives you an opportunity to like get get a first run and like do spot corrections as well. Be like, she oh. She's like, I got the file there. I yep. can go back and fix it. And I, that just made me happy that one person, I'm like, that's why I do this shit. I'm like, mm -hmm. it might not be for everyone. It might be DevOps for Linux content creators, but hopefully that helped out, man. It's more Very darker. Nice. Coming <laughs> up next, this is a game that I don't think any amount of Docker will fix, but uh, we're going to throw chairs at it anyways. <laughs> Welcome back to the chair position. This time for real, I hope. Yay! Uh, this week we're taking a look at Biscuitities Biscuitities Two, uh, <laughs> developed by a cross-platform, <laughs> done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about twenty bucks US. What is it? Biscuitities Two is a punishing jumping game. With practice, you'll be able to jump, but explore with care. A single miss jump could lead to a long fall back down. So then, bought us some keys for this, um, and now we're gonna throw chairs at it. And I get to go first for once. Woohoo! Oh no. So, yeah. So on uh, Fedora 3, 30, Fedora 3, no, Fedora 33,000. 43, yes. Fedora 9,776. I told you about using distributions from the future. Never. No good ever right. comes of it. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, you, you're telling me my ButterFS partition just got wiped. Uh, yeah, but on Fedora 33, 64 oh, bit. Yeah. With the, uh, with the uh, i7-6700K and the Ryzen, or not the Ryzen, the yes. AMD RX 5700 XT. Um, runs out of the box. Same with the Ryzen R9 3900X. I know those with the 1080 like Ti. <laughs> I got, I got too many, too many CPUs, too many RAMs now. Too many RAMs, too many GPUs. Um, 
<laughs> runs out of the box, holds 60 at UHD. Um, multiplayer is a bit of an interesting story because you can join randos games, um, but Ven was like unable to Fuck connect off. to the multiplayer. Yeah, no, it was yeah. like, <laughs> and, and when Pedro and I tried to put together a multiplayer match, it wouldn't connect, but you can still connect to other random people. I, I don't know. Uh, it's randos or bust controls. Well, so it's it's a timing based jump mechanic, and it technically functions, but it's 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 not great. In fact, I would go so far as to say the game is poo poo. I mean, it's it's a it's a range game. It's very much like getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Um, it's and this is like the exact nonsense that drives me up the wall. I have a problem with anger management. If you watched my darks my review of the Dark Souls game, Dark Souls Three, you you know this. I broke a keyboard out of just pure frustration. I did not engage with this with this game because you know what? It's what it says on the tin. Um, and here's the thing: the timing-based jump mechanic sucks. You have to feel it out. I ended up having to count out loud to actually make it so that I could like cheater re reliably make jumps. Right? <laughs> that that was my cue. But you know, you, but it's all trial and error because you know you fuck up and you get sent back to the bottom, rinse, repeat. It's not fun. I get why this exists. Your Markipliers and your PewDiePies will play it and they'll scream into their microphones and the six-year-olds will find it hilarious, but it's just not fun for me. It's just, I get what they're trying to do and it's it's bad. It's bad and it deserves one chair. Well, Pedro. Yeah. Uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, which is the footage that you're currently looking at, and I'm not apologizing Man, for that. Man, how did you That's... get this thing to power through with just a 1080? I... Right. You yeah, mean, I know. That, yeah. 144 at uh, 2K resolution. That's what we Go need. Figure. We need ray trace film rate. <laughs> but yeah, the... Th that's Grain the thing. tracing. Um, you can't disable the chromatic aberration or the old f uh, film like uh, film grain screen noise. Do you, you, do you like the extra fuck you of like, but you can cut it down really low. Yeah, yeah. you you could cut it down to two on one and four on the other. Uh, if you want to go lower than that, fuck you. Uh, the you have to enable seam input for both the Dual Shock Four and the Dual Sense. They just don't work uh, out of the box, which is odd because this is Unity, and Unity has pretty much figured that out on Linux, so I don't know what the heck's up with that. Uh, and even then, it doesn't work properly since the jump button doesn't register half the time, and you just walk right off a platform. You can, you've can you seen that happen many times already, and you will see many more. The um, As for the fun, what in the actual fuck... I, I don't think I've ever seen a game that actively hates its player. There, There is a lot of incompetent game development happening, and we mostly find the games on Linux on Steam, so, you know, prime um, destination for that kind of incompetent game development. But this one, it feels like it's deliberately asking why. Why are you still playing this rage platformer with chromatic aberration and screen noise you can't disable? Why? I'll tell you because I always wanted to know what a VHS recording of my parents' wedding night looked like. <laughs> I wanted to hammer a nail right into my urethra, but I couldn't find it. You any. know, uh, Van, that description, someone out there is very much looking for that. <laughs> the, uh... We Splat. Why would you bother even trying to make progress when you know that that time investment is just going to result in a misjump later on and you falling all the way back down like what happened just then? Pedro, Why? People, people flangulate themselves. They, like, literally take whips and cut themselves on the back, like... I ask why about that too, and I honestly don't know what to say. People complain about the difficulty in some video games, you know, Dark Souls, uh, Jordan mentioned Dark Souls, it wasn't me for once. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's d those kinds of difficult games like Dark Souls, they often reward you for getting good because you start seeing the patterns, you start noticing exactly how you can make progress, and everything starts falling into place. This, this just spits in your face. Watch it, watching what we made... have so far, man, uh, it's like we, we, you didn't have to record a video, you just done an animated GIF and we just looped it. Yeah, right? pretty like, much. Like, yeah. like I said, you can find and if a, you look... a picture of someone slamming their face into a wall, it's the same thing. If you look at the Steam store page, the trailer, uh, they did they don't even get as far as I did just then before I fell down. They don't even get that far in the trailer. Uh if you look on YouTube, most of the people playing the game didn't even get as far as I did. I posted a screenshot before the show started uh, before we started recording the show. 
I got Hashtag. farther than anyone that I could see on YouTube. So, Hashtag humble brag. Yeah, right. Uh, seriously, no, I, it's not a brag at all no, because don't try to walk I it back. Try to walk it back. You just did. <laughs> Master I rage quit this game. I got up. I went to take a shit, and the experience of just doing one of the most mundane things a human being can do, which is you know pooping, that felt rewarding compared to this piece of shit. One chair. I also pooped after playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about how this runs on Debian testing, man. With the Ryzen 1920X, 32 gigs of non-ECC RAM, peasant RAM. It, it, it has heat sinks on it and stuff, man. Well, it launches, and that's about the only positive thing I'm going to say about biscuits too, man. Full screen windowed mode, they work, so I guess it's another positive thing. But I'm going to give that credit squarely to the Unity game engine, man. Uh, let's talk about sound because there's a lot of it. And the first thing I noticed at 100% right out of the box, when you open this, this bad boy was throwing all of my meters back here into the red because it looks like it was mixed with Unity zero as the target bit on the loud side. I'll cut it down to about 80% and you'll get where it should fucking be. Also, multiplayer for me, Look, these two swap motherfuckers were able to get some semblance of <laughs> multiplayer. It might have been RNG. Didn't work at all here. Nothing. Didn't. Nothing. Period. So, as far as it looks, it's, it's clearly a Cuphead knockoff. You know, as first thing we said when this game first hit our radar, we're like, oh, look, Linux kind of gets a Cuphead knockoff game. Yay. So, let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk about fun let's talk about fun because if you define fun as immediately switching to proton because you thought the controller mappings were fucked up on linux only to find out that the intended behavior is just that yeah it's fucking blast man you can't get enough of this game because that's exactly what i did and it's like wait shit controller doesn't work because that happens with unity titles sometimes in the long long ago proton same thing i'm like oh shit this this is a real world and it's got to deal with it now let me tell you about these controls. You hold down the jump button, press left or right, cross your fucking pinky toes and release and see wherever it slingshots you. That, that's it. Your distance and height is proportional to how long the button is pressed. From there, you navigate upwards through random shite placed on the map. That's it. That's that's the entirety of this fuck mothering game, man. It is. I mean, it's marketed as Jordan said, hey, it's a rage platformer when it's really a bunch of assets from the previous game stacked vertically with a poorly thought out movement mechanic tacked on. So it like beat, meets the bare minimum, the bare qualifications for a game. Now, I'm just going to say in closing, man, Biscuits 2, which ironically came out after Biscuits 3. That should have told me enough right there. If Biscuits 2 had been a Flash game released in like 2006, upon seeing it, Adobe would have immediately killed Flash and apologized <laughs> to humanity. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, one chair. So I, I forgot to I forgot to mention this, but I did actually like experiment with some of the local multiplayer because, like I was saying in the pre-show, I have like two controllers here. So I figured it has local multiplayer. Let's give this a shot. And what this actually does is it creates another dude, but the camera doesn't follow either of you. It like splits it so that if one guy advances further, you're both fucked. Because <laughs> <It's, laughs> there, there's nothing redeeming. I I, I even have to. I, I think there might have been an attempt. At the rage platforming, but it's just implemented so poorly. It's just even that. Like I was talking the pre-pre super shows. It's lazy. What if it is whatever lazy. it is, it's lazy because you can see the assets and clearly a lot of work it went into them. And at one point they were animated. Right well, now it, they're static. It, it's nothing is moving. Even though it's their own assets, it's still an asset flip from the original game. Like I said, just shit stuck to the ceiling and have your way through it with this dog shit jump mechanic. And there's nothing dangling in front of you the entire time to make you want to get good. This is just bullshit all the way up. I, I mean, I think the thing dangling in front of you is you paid like $15 for it and you're like, well, shit, now I need to. Okay, like okay, this is the <laughs> thing we need to talk about. It was also it was still like six bucks, whatever. Thank you. Patreon.com for slash Linux game guest. Uh, <laughs> I was going to refund it, but I've decided that this game is so fuck mothering bad. It's special. As it's in, special. I'm, just, I'm just going to keep it in the collection. <laughs> Make, makes sense. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, there's nothing left to say about this game other than it's poo poo. Coming up next, you're asking us about time management? Good TikTok. luck. <laughs> TikTok. 
And if you'd like to let us know exactly why Biscuits 2 is the best game you've ever played and we just shit all over your cereal, there's a very easy way you can do that. You can shit go all fuck your yourself. Biscuits. Gravy deals. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold, no. hold, hold on, what kind of biscuits? Buttermilk biscuits, or like cornbread biscuits, or... I don't know, but there needs to be two of them. Pixel biscuits, which I'm sure exist. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the best way to get in touch with us is to go to LoisGameCast.com, you hit the contact button, and you fill out the form. Uh, LGCW is, or LGC Weekly is the show that you want to pick to send your hate mail to us over here. Otherwise, we may misinterpret it as some constructive feedback for that Wednesday show, but you can read the categories. They're fairly self-explanatory. And if you're a game developer and you'd like us to have a look at your game after what we just did to that one uh i'm sorry uh but <laughs> can just biscuits. include three keys <laughs> three keys or a build that we can share because... that, that game wasn't can biscuits that the game was more like can't biscuits yes that game, that that was, game was a can biscuit all the way <laughs> what, whatever company produced that can biscuits it's filled with shame it's filled with yeah. salmonella <laughs> <laughs> it made me want to shit myself. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Um, our soul piece of Haiti McHate Mill this week comes from KY Lytx, currently watching the show because that's what you always do if you're submitting hate mail. I'm like, well, gotta watch. Um, just in case. <laughs> Pedro, what's the first two words say? I don't speak that. Why one? Uh, that's that uh, expression. No, it's a Jamaican expression that uh, we had some uh, we had some issues with the previous uh, message that Kyle Lytx sent us that he mentioned that and what it meant. Okay, and uh, what's it mean? Yeah, I mean, what's hey going fuckos? on? I think yeah, that is, is it, it Kanisi <laughs> Wabitsis. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Okay. Right on. Pretty much, so, yeah. You guys <laughs> recently, you guys mentioned recently what you each do for a living, and your responses got me wondering, how do you balance your professional lives with gaming, LGC, LWTW, live streams, fitness, learning, and your personal lives? How do you do all of this? Do you keep a relatively strict schedule and set times for each activity, or do you just go with the flow? Hope you guys, Angel, don't mind sharing your process for those of us having a hard time getting a solid workflow routine down. Thanks for doing all that you do. Happy 2021. I'm going to tell you my life hack. I got an absolute life hack. Sleep four hours a day. <laughs> that, that's it. I'm not terribly productive. I'm just awake all the fucking time. Mm, it, it just averages out that you get stuff done over yeah, the course of the day. Like, I, I, I got time to fucking fill, man. You're like, oh, it's midnight. I'm like, mm, all right, let's get up something. I, 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 mean, I mean, like, I have a couple of fixed points in my schedule, like the Thursday stream, the show, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I usually end up, like, scheduling stuff around that. But I don't know, man. Quarantine has really thrown my, mm. my organization into, like, complete poo-poo array. I... I, I as, as an autistic person, I benefit a lot from having like a very, very rigid routine. It mm -hmm. helps keep a lot of the, the mental health no-nos in check. So has it kind of like went from that to like just having touchstones now? Like, okay. Some, some, like I basically mark weeks by doing a Linux game cast at this point. Ah. Uh, like that, that, that's, that's kind of it. My brain has gone complete <laughs> poo in quarantine. I'm, tr I'm trying to motivate myself to stream more so that I have something to do. The gyms are closed. I'm going nuts. I'm barely holding it together. How about you, Pedro? <laughs> well, I cut the fitness bit out and I do everything else and tomatoes. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> Honestly, yeah, much like uh, I don't sleep four hours a night like Ven. I sleep for six. -ish. Okay, I, I need to rephrase that. I am not like vertical four hours. Like, because an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes of that's like you need to go to fucking bed. <laughs> Laying down, watching YouTube shit. So two and a half, three. Let's be. Oh, yeah. No, I ideally I would be sleeping for like eight hours a night because I mm -hmm. go to bed. I try to go to bed at a reasonable time. Can I and then I spend question? two Can hours not bed? asleep. Hmm? Can you hang out in bed? I okay. can. Yeah. I fucking can, dude. I wake up. I can <laughs> fuck up. Man. Uh, I'm like, I'm eventually, done. I will bore myself to sleep, but that usually takes a couple of hours. I'm, uh, I'm honestly more at risk of falling asleep on the couch. Like, if I just, like, sit up on the couch, I'll Yeah, I'll no, the couch on. is killer for me. If I get my legs up... Yeah. 
That's great, man. We can get him like get his feet to sleep and we can chase the fuck out of him. He's not really gonna go anywhere. Where he does go, it's gonna be hilarious. But yeah, no, I I do get what you're coming from, um, Kylinics. And yes, if you have full time job and you need to get what I do, admittedly, and I love working from home because of that, because while I'm at work at home, I need to get up every now and then or do something else to distract me from work, because if I don't, I'm going to send someone a very angry email, and that would likely get me fired, so... Get a dog. That's, that's I just, what I did. I get my mind off of things, so I go to the couch and I play on the steam box for a little bit or I grab the uh, pine sill and one of the solder kits like one of them Mm. and I just spend 15 20 minutes doing one of these teeny tiny little things just getting them up and running then putting the multimeter to it and seeing the LEDs blink that gets my brain in order but yeah you basically just go with whatever your mind wants to do at the time it, it, uh, it's all about trying like, to force yourself to do something that well, it's about you're finding screaming time, internally. Yeah. Well, so so yeah. I, I mean, I mean, you 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 can you can say that, but like the the the, the fact of the matter is this: like you do have a finite amount of time during the day um and it's up to you to prioritize how you spend that time if you want to spend x amount of time exercising then you got to spend that time exercising it's not just going to magically happen you have to actually these you have to put yourself in a position where these are the things that you are prioritizing and sometimes oh i want to watch tv i can't watch tv i have to go lift weights or i have to go do work you have you have to you have to determine what is more important to and you. And it depends time, on right? where it falls. I mean, your um, like reward punishment. Because if I'm looking at like me, I love making stuff. You know, I'm like, oh, subtitle video. Let's get that out because I'm like that. That's helpful. We do a thing, and and so I, I don't. My brain doesn't process. You know, a lot of stuff I do in here, it doesn't process as work. It's like, hey, it's a thing, and we can make stuff. I like doing that. But to your point, well, like workouts. If you're looking at like. Your brain's looking at it and I was like, ah, that's bad versus, oh man, I get to go lift. It's two different systems. So you got, you got to figure out where, oh, you, where you can I, put I, it. Absolutely. Like this, this is the, this is the big problem I'm running into is I really love heavy barbell movements. But mm-hmm. if you ask me to like, in order to get the equivalent amount of like stress, I got to do a hundred pushups. That's boring as fuck to me. I don't want to do that. And so it becomes like a constant struggle. It's, it's, it's the, it's the, um, motivation discipline, um, sort of dichotomy. Motivation is what will get you started. Discipline is what's going to keep you doing it. So, so work, work on developing and discipline. find your escapism because no matter what you do and what it is that you like doing and what you want what is the point that you want to get to you will need to take a break so find your escapism find find that thing that gets your mind off of things for me it's video games that's why i like them so much so yeah find that thing for you so basically um (laughs) just to put a bow on it um here at lcc we would recommend drugs Basically, yes. <laughs> Cocaine. If, if, if you want more information, <laughs> on buy that our book. Show, let's go ahead and do the music. You can always find us around at eight thirty Eastern Standard Time, unless you're one of the people helping support what we do and all the content we make at patreoncom gamecast Hop in the Discord an hour early for our pre-pre super shows. But if you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Vin on Twitter. Just make sure you don't start talking shit about Linux and audio, because I will break my fucking foot off in your ass. Um, also at mass.linuxgamecast.com where I'm there as well. My name is Ron Spung and I'm going to reveal the truth to you. If you truly, truly desire it, it will come to you unless that's an RTX 3090. For more words of wisdom, follow me at the burning fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash burning fool. And I am tomatoes. According to the CCs, no matter how I say Pedro Mateos, it will always you say know tomatoes. What? You know what, Pedro? I just said I am tomatoes according to the CDC. So, a <laughs> bit overruled. The, C- the CDC has classified Pedro Mateos as the tomato. What are you going to do? I am a fruit. Uh, feel free to misinterpret that. Uh, you can find me at unaccounted for on Twitter or at unaccounted for on mass.linuxgamecast.com, even though I don't log in there ever. We're gonna roll Adam, the credits. Adam, 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 Adam there anyways, just send him a bunch of mail, I don't know. <laughs> 
secrets of the universe revealed, you need to use more calligraphy. That's how you organize your life. You put power into the pen, and then you write shit. Dude, 20 we years from now, that'll be a lost art. <laughs> That's true. We got to thank our executive producers, Alias, Spar Bram, Scott M, Fox Dog, Atomic Arthur, and Topic Guy, Mike G, MD, uh, Chicago Kicks Ass, Darkwing, Dark yeah. Sea Monsters, Ooh. we got Jack, Rider X, Machina, Trug Hills, Ferret Sanuda, Justin, Renault, and Renault. And, and Death Notes, we have Nova K, Basil B, Chad P, Romeo V, Marson K, System T, Craig H, Renee K, Leonardo C, Captain Zero, DeCrasney, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill. And of course, and the rest. yeah, go for it, fuckers. Do it. Sherlings. <laughs> Stephen, Daniel, the Scott, Michael, Thomas, everyone. Dr. Stevie. 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 Bye bye, Nixon's pyramid. You're getting so <laughs> tiny. Oh no. Oh, it's no. such a tiny pyramid. It's going back to space. There. Make, both of you make respectable faces. So we can have a. That's horrible. I'm just going to put tomatoes all over everyone. That's fine. Die to fire. Cool. <laughs> Five dudes.